So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are safe at your homes and I hope you all are healthy. And yeah, let me begin. Today I'll be speaking on uh, mobile usability. So yeah, well, how how can we optimize our designs uh, while doing the mobile design? Is that we will have to look into this uh, three to four points. I'll not number them because yeah, again I don't know how many will come into my mind and like how many until. So yeah, uh, basically the first one is the hover action. Uh, in in desktop version or in web version, we'll have something called as uh, uh, hovering. If you hover your mouse, you will get a small animation. But in uh, mobile version, you will not have any hovering animations or any other animations. But you will have micro interactions, very small interactions. You will have. Uh, that's that's one thing you'll have to look into that while designing for mobile. You will have to look into that. Uh, you don't create something for the hover option as well because it's of no use in mobile. And yeah, then there is the second one. You will have to look into the typography. The typography is basically you will where uh, the, the font size should be somewhere around like uh, 14 to 10, or uh, not more or less. Because uh, if you go is too small, it will become too small. If you go more than 14, it will become too big. So yeah, that one you will have to keep in your mind, uh, 14 to 10, it's not a uh, norm that you should follow between 14 to 10, but you will have to follow uh, uh, that because it, it is basically the major, um, the visible point of the fonts. And then there is this, uh, what do you say, the touchability, uh, touchability of the mobile uh, as our fingers are uh, quite big on the screen, so we'll have to uh, look into the design in such a way that it if, if we are click on the button the uh, beside that area will not have to touch it so basically for that we'll have to keep a, a, a square of 40 by 40 um, while designing a button or any other option where we will have to use our fingers to tap so yeah we'll have to keep a 14 to 40 pixel box uh, on that and we'll have to see uh, the size of the button which we are thinking and the fourth one is we will have to look into the orientation as well uh, there might be landscape and portrait mo orientation we'll have to look into that if we are designing for uh, portrait mode land landscape mode if you're not designing then it's okay it's not a major part but yeah it's okay. so yeah i hope i've helped you guys i have uh, given you a value from my side and yeah thank you for watching my video i hope you uh, could drop a like Give a comment and subscribe and share with your friends all the YouTube stuff. So thank you for watching.